Good morning, guys. So today we're going to be testing out the new Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Foundation Matte. I got mine in the color 240 medium beige. Here's what it looks like. Here. And it does have a little like safety guard on it. So if you buy this foundation and you want to try it out, open up the lid to make sure it has a safety guard on it for you. So this foundation claims to be a let's see what the description um color stay full coverage foundation for full coverage matte finish uh last up to 24 hours comfort wear that moves with your skin won't cake up or weigh you down easy to apply blends seamlessly so that's what it says there and then it says matte full coverage does not look cakey or feel heavy which is already what it said last 24 hours and then it says easy to applicate to to apply so that's about it that's all that it says on the revlon website um that looks like there are 16 different colors from medium to kind of dark i guess i'll definitely leave like a picture up here so you can see what the colors are um so i don't know it doesn't seem like i mean there's the darkest color there i hope that gets into focus there so i don't know how that that ranges for um darker skinned or lighter skinned people but um i'm kind of in the middle of that so i ended up buying mine at walmart for uh i think it was like nine dollars nine to ten dollars so I'm going to go ahead and put on one side with the blender, the other side with the brush so we can see how it works. So we'll do the brush side first. And so I've already got primers on and everything. And I did use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer Primer today. I used that yesterday with uh, NYX um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And it, it lasted really, really well. Um, just as good with with the primer than with the other primer. So I don't have any issues with that. So it's pretty thick. I'm just going to put like a little dot there. So it looks pretty thick. Excuse my dirty thing there. I just flipped it over so I can use the back side. <laughs> I need to clean that off. But let's go ahead and go on and see. I'm just going to go ahead and just dab some on here because I don't want too much and really get it in the bristles. And then let's go on with this side first. Looks like a good shade match. All right, so here's the side here with the brush. And I just did a light layer, just like the tiniest. I did use everything that was on the, the little thing here, but you can see it does cover up the redness. It actually oh, looks really nice on the skin. I'm kind of surprised of how nice it looks on the skin. It doesn't seem like it's gonna cake up in my forehead or anything like that. Um, it's covering fairly well here, not like full, full coverage, but definitely covering there. And um, it just went on really nice and seamlessly. It feels like a mousse type of foundation, so I was expecting it to be more like the um, the Stay Matte from Rimmel, and it's not. This one is actually a little bit more moussier, kind of a little thinner. So I just put a little bit more, and I'm going to take my blender and do the same thing on the other side, and let's see how that works. All right. All right, so that's the blender side here. Um, I feel like you can see a little bit more redness with the blender side and a little bit more of my scarring on my face than you can with this side here. But um, either way, I think it did a good job on both sides. It seems pretty lightweight. I don't think it's gonna like cake up anyways. Um, it feels like it sunk right into my skin, so I don't feel like my face is wet or anything like that. When I touch it, it feels super dry. I'm running super late for work, so I need to get ready. So let's see here, I'm gonna give you the time. As of right now, I'm not minding the way the coverage is. It's, I mean, it's not like full, full coverage, but it's definitely, you know, there, so you can see it. Um, and it doesn't say it's a full coverage. It says um, blend seamlessly, which I do agree. It definitely blends seamlessly. I feel like it just blended right into my face, almost like a whipped cream kind of in a way, if that makes any sense. So it is 7, 13 in the morning. So I need to rush. So let me go put the rest of my makeup on, and then I'll come back and tell you if it does anything weird. I literally have like 15 minutes before I have to leave. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so here's what the finished look looks like. I am running so late. It is now 7.30, so that means I have to go. But everything looks good. Um, everything went on really, really nicely. Nothing moved around with this um, foundation. I have still, I'm still testing out the Lorac 
Los Angeles Pro. I do have the new, new Narvina palette. I've had this for weeks. It's literally just been sitting on my counter and I haven't even touched it. Um, at some point I'll get to that. Maybe I'll just do a get ready with me. But I do have the Little Rock palette on. I have the Morphe um, contour, the one that I always use. Um, Tarte contour as well. A Tarte blush and just a little bit of highlighter on and then a lipstick from um, Dose of Colors. So that is everything I have on. So, um, so far so good. I, I don't mind this foundation as of yet. It feels super lightweight. I thought it was going to be more cakier than what it is. So right now I'm impressed. Like I said, it's 7.30. I'm going to head out. I'll be back in a couple hours to do a first check-in. Let me spray my face real quick. I am out of all-nighter, so I'm going to have to go back to this. But let me spray my face. Let's go ahead and set that in place. And I'll be back in a couple hours to show you what it looks like. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye. All right, guys, it is now 1.22 in the afternoon. I've had this on since 7 o'clock in the morning. So six and a half hours, roughly, about. So, so far, I feel like the foundation is doing really well. I don't even feel like I'm getting oily at all. Um, I don't know if that's due to the primer or the foundation, but either way, it's, it's doing well. And I did use the Makeup Forever <laughs> Step 1 primer today. Let me show you what that is here. So that's what I used as a primer this morning. But so far it feels really good. It's not clinging to any parts of my face. I'm just kind of looking in my mirror real quick. I don't feel like it's clinging. It's not getting cakey on my forehead. Um, I would have did like a regular, you know, a uh, natural light um, film, but I am running late this morning or this afternoon now again, so I only have a few minutes to go and eat lunch. But um, like I said, so far it's doing okay. It is clinging just a little bit right here in the nostril area, um, uh, but that's pretty normal for matte type foundations. I am just going to take my beauty blender, and even though I don't feel like I'm getting oily, I'm just going to take it and just kind of swipe away a little bit so we, I don't get, if it starts getting oily, I don't get like over the top oily. So I'm just going to do this. But it doesn't seem like it's taking away much of anything. It just seems to be holding together really, really well. So that didn't do much of anything, but I just did it just, you know, for my own peace of mind. But so far, I feel like it's doing a great job of holding the oils, staying on, not breaking up, any of that. So I'll go ahead and put on a side-by-side -side picture here now. Um, I shall be back in a couple more hours to show you what it looks like at the end of the day. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So it is exactly uh, 4.53 in the afternoon. So we've had this on for technically around 10-ish hours or so. I think that 10 hours is a good enough time to test out a foundation. This does say that it's a 24-hour foundation. I personally never wear a foundation for 24 hours. The longest I would wear a foundation would maybe be 14, maybe 15 hours at most. Um, then I take it off. So um, 10 hours for me is not bad. As you can see, I am definitely starting to get just a little dewy here in my T-zone, but not bad at all and even though I am getting dewy my makeup is not breaking up whatsoever in my t-zone or in this area here it's just actually stood on pretty well throughout the day which I'm super impressed by I didn't think I was gonna like this foundation I don't think it had the best reviews online from you know other um, makeup gurus that have tested it out so i wanted to just kind of show you the difference in the texture of this one from remel or from from revlon and the one from remel the stay matte because the textures are a little different so excuse my very dirty little pad here but as you can see the texture for the uh, revlon one is kind of can you see that is it going to focus there we go it's kind of like a moussey type texture it doesn't move around at all but the one from Revel, uh, Remel is kind of, it's definitely like a thick, thick um, texture. So let me, so here's the Revlon here on this side. And then here's the Remel Stay Matte on this side. If you get a focus, are we going to focus? There we go. So you can see the difference in texture. The Remel Stay Matte is um, really, really thick 
and very, you know, cake-like. And the one from uh, Revlon is actually more of a moussey type of, of, of texture. As you can see, it, you know, it's really, really moussey. This one here is not as moussey. Um, even when you have them, you can see the difference. This is the one from Revlon. Or, Remel, and this is the one from Revlon. They're definitely different. The one from Revlon is actually kind of melting away on my finger, almost like a frosting in a way. And the other one, actually, almost like a whipped cream in a way. And then this one is almost like a thick frosting. So I just wanted to kind of give you a quick comparison of the two. Um, if you had any um, questions, if they were kind of similar, they're not the similar. They're, they're not similar in texture at all, um, and they're not similar on the face as well. The one from Revlon is actually really, really. Um, smooth and it actually feels weightless on the skin which is really nice um it does i think it lasts for a really long time on the face i mean again i only wore it for 10 hours today but so far um i don't feel uncomfortable with it it didn't do any you know weird creasing anywhere i don't have any creasing in my forehead at all um i don't have any creasing on the side of my face here or on this side here um i do have a slight bit of gathering here in the nose area um, which is, you know, it just depends on the texture of the foundation that happens. It didn't build up at all, not at all, in my nose um, pores. Um, some foundations do that. So let me just go ahead and take this blender to get some of these oils off. Here, and let's just see what it looks like after that. So I think it looks really good. I do feel like it may have faded away just a little bit here, but not anything that would be completely noticeable where I would be like, oh my God, the foundation's gone. And when it did fade away, it actually fades away. I'm just looking in the mirror again, really, really nicely. It doesn't look like it's gone at all. Um, you can't really see the scarring that I have on the side of my face right here, which you'll be able to see in the before and afters at the end of this clip. If you want to, you know, see what it looks like and how it lasted all day long, I'll have a before um, this morning and a now picture side by side. But I think it's done a really good job. I do, I do like this. And I don't know why a lot of people didn't like this. I found that it went on really easily. I didn't have to use very much to get the coverage that I wanted. I think you can build it up to a full, full coverage. This is a full coverage foundation, but I didn't build it up to the fullest coverage it could possibly be. I just put light layer on um, my face today because that's how I like to wear my foundation. But I feel like if I wanted to, you know, really cover up these marks that I have on my face, I could probably do that and it would not feel too cakey. As long as I use like my beauty blender I really buffed it into my skin with my brush which I did use a brush and a blender today and I think that it did well with both of those I prefer the blender side because it just shears it out a little bit more but I think if you wanted a fuller coverage the brush is the way to go and then maybe go over the top with the blender I did not use a setting powder today um, which is unusual I was running late this morning so <laughs> I didn't use a setting powder I basically just use the makeup forever step one uh, equal Equalizer primer and then that was pretty much it. I mean, I used a few other makeup products, but that was it I didn't like really set this down. So I feel like it lasted really well without the setting powder with the primer that I used and the primer that I used this step one primer is more it's not I don't know if it has silicone in it. It may have silicone in it, but it's more of a gel like primer it's not like super silicone or anything like that so it's not like something it's actually a wet primer um so it's not like anything spectacular that's supposed to you know um subdue the oils or anything like that i don't believe that it claims to do that it just has an equalizer i really do not know much about this primer, but I know that I've been testing it out and it actually works really well. I used it yesterday with the um, Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation from NYX and it worked great. So I wasn't expecting anything different from the primer today. So um, as far as this foundation, I like it. I think it's a great foundation. I will continue to use it and rotate it in with my other foundations because I think it looks great on my face. It did not bother me at all throughout the day. I didn't have any issues with it caking up, feeling heavy, or you know making me feel extra oily or anything like that so if you haven't tried this one out yet I would say give it a try I say it's a good foundation and I would recommend it I would give this one maybe a nine and a half out of ten so I, I think it's a great foundation all right guys that is my review let me know if you have any questions about this foundation if you haven't tried it yet if you're thinking about trying it or if you just want to talk down in the description just go ahead and put it down below and um, I shall talk to you guys sometime within the week bye